Mike's out of the picture and you're seeing your ex-wife again. Ooh. Now, wait a minute. Wendy and I got together only to celebrate Matthew's birthday. At the end of the day, Wendy gave me a kiss on the cheek, said goodnight, and that was it. Just like when you were married, huh, John? <laughs> now, look, I am 100% over that woman. We are history. Finny, kaput, okay? There is nothing that I wouldn't do for Matthew. There's certainly nothing I would deny him. Oh, and I'm sure that you feel the same way, John. Don't you? What do you want this time, huh? What? A new car? A vacation? New furniture? Go ahead, tell me, what do you want? I want us to have another baby. <laughs> you and I do make good babies. Oh, we sure do. And I would love to be a father again. Oh, oh, John! Oh, 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 oh. oh. I, I've got it all planned. Oh, um, yeah. um, after the balloon ride, on the off chance we survive this, um, we'll go back to my place. We'll put on a Johnny Mathis album. Johnny Mathis? <laughs> Well, John, um, gee, I had something else in mind. <laughs> well, what's your plan? You want me to go to a sperm bank? <laughs> Did you go to a sperm bank? You haven't said two words to me. Oh, yes, I have. I said, hell no. <laughs> Call the elevator, please. Oh, John, isn't this an adorable little baby? Hell no. <laughs> going to college, all right. Oh. Every week, my husband and I put in some money in a special account for his education. Oh, what a coincidence. Wendy, he was just telling me to go down to the bank and make a deposit for our baby. <laughs> Good night. John, I know you're mad at me, but I want to have another child while I still can. And I want you to be the father. That way, Matthew would have a real brother or sister. Now, here's the address of the sperm bank. How does Matthew feel about us having another baby? Well, he said it would be a very sensible idea. He did? Actually, he said it would be bitchin'. <laughs> John, Look. this is probably the most important thing I'll ever ask you to do for me. Uh. Will you just think about it? That's him. <laughs> <laughs> You think my baby's ugly? <laughs> Hell no. So, Kate, how was your big date? Oh, I've had it with men. This guy took me to a really elegant restaurant, said how drawn he was to my spiritual side, then he grabbed my thigh. <laughs> Funny. That's my spiritual side, too. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, Mary Beth. Hi, Mary Beth. Anybody hear how things are going between John and Wendy? No, not yet. Wouldn't it be romantic if those two actually got back together again? Yeah. They say love is lovelier the second time around. Baloney. I went through that with one of my ex-husbands. Oh, the first time around was heaven. <laughs> what happened the second time around? They kicked us off the Ferris wheel. <laughs> what is the big secret? Come on, what happened with you and Wendy? Yes, we're dying to hear. What's the latest poop? Did you two decide to have a baby? Yes, as a matter of fact, we did. 
right, Jen, so tell me, what happened? You two went to bed and, uh, uh, yeah. If you must know, Kirk, we never actually made it to the bed. Ooh! All right, John. <laughs> No. Ouch on the couch. Look, uh, nothing happened on the couch. Ooh, even better. A little hug on the rug. A little smile on the tile. A little rolium on the linoleum. Did you are in the shower? All right, I'll cut it out. Just knock it off. Wendy and I didn't do anything anywhere. I can't believe you people. Somebody says baby, and right away you all think of sex. <laughs> there are a lot of ways of getting pregnant without sex, you know. I'm afraid we're not quite following you, John. <laughs> oh, yeah, John, don't tell us you still believe that toilet seat stuff. No. <laughs> For your information, I happen to come up with the perfect solution. Thanks to modern science. Oh, do tell us, Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> I went to a sperm bank. Did you say... sperm bank? John, 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 I can't believe this. All the fruit in this city just right for the picking, and you canned your own peaches? Yes. That's right, yes. I know, it sounds a little, uh... Lonely? Thank you, Kate. Look, Wendy and I both realize it would be very complicated if we slept together again, and uh, having a baby, my baby, is very important to her. And this way, Matthew can have a real brother or sister. You're so considerate. Any woman would be proud to have you as an ex-husband. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Beth. Anyway, um, I went down to this um, place yesterday and um, made a donation. <laughs> That way, Wendy can use it whenever she's ready. I mean, it's really very simple. It's very easy. You know, no regrets, no commitments, no emotional ties. No emotional ties. John, are you sure you're not clinging to some <clears throat> glimmer of hope that this baby will bring you and Wendy back together again? Uh, 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 no, no, no. Wendy made it perfectly clear that this is strictly an arrangement. Yeah, but uh, how is this going to work? Well... I mean, there must be a lot of legal ramifications involved in an arrangement like this. Well, What actually... do you mean? Uh, well, for instance, how often will Wendy let John see the baby? Yeah. Well, no, that's and? Not... What about child support? Well, I, I, two I... children. I imagine John will be paying double. double. Oh, yeah, yeah, and what happens if Wendy remarries? Who's the child's legal father? Well, of, well, I of guess course. John is the legal father. That's right. I... Wait a minute, sorry. Wait a minute. Sorry. <laughs> John went to a sperm bank. He may only be the Jaws legal father. <laughs> Body. Give John some credit. To enter into something as important as this without a formal agreement, the man would have to be a complete idiot. Uh, excuse, me. excuse me. Yeah, John is no idiot. Gee, this is so involved. Wendy must want that baby real bad. Oh, I can understand. She must hear her biological clock ticking. I thought I heard mine ticking last night. <laughs> Thank God it was just post-nasal drip. Oh, come on, Wendy, pick up. Oh, well, I I'm sorry to hear that, Mom. I wish there was something I could do to help. Mom, hold on, I've got someone on the other line. Hello? Oh, hi, John. Listen, Wendy, uh, can we get together tomorrow and talk? Oh, tomorrow's bad, John. I'm being inseminated. <laughs> Mom on the other line. Can I call you back? No, no, no. You cannot call me back. And what do you mean you're being inseminated tomorrow? Well, what, what's the big rush? Well, the doctor has to do it while I'm fertile, and tomorrow's the day. Well, you can be fertile on another day. Look, we have to talk. <laughs> um, I, I just realized there are a lot of uh, things that still need to be settled. John, everything is settled. You made the donation, and I'm going to have the baby. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got Mom on long distance. It's very important. She's having trouble with her roses again. Wendy, you're not listening to me. You want me to call up that place and tell him not to give you my sperm? John, it's not yours anymore. The account is in my name. I, are you trying to tell me that if I call them up and ask them for my, uh, uh squiggly little things back, that they, that they wouldn't give them to me? Uh, uh, 
Excuse me. I, I, I'm going to be quite a long time on this phone call. Wait! Well, John, look. Now, I'm not going to argue about this. I'm doing it tomorrow, and that's it. Now, I'll call you when the rabbit dies. Wendy! Well, Mama, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Damn! John, maybe I can help. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta be tough. <laughs> Hi, guys, sorry I'm late. Oh, oh, we were just discussing John and Wendy. Oh, oh, are they gonna get back together and have a baby? Yes and no. Ralphie, do the words artificial insemination mean anything to you? Are you kidding? If it wasn't for artificial insemination, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> really, Ralphie? You've never told us that before. Yeah, well, it's not something I'm proud of. You know how embarrassing it is to be pulled out of a lake in front of 200 campers and have some counselor do that to you? <laughs> I think you're talking about artificial respiration. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ralphie? John told us he went to a sperm bank. And I thought my story was embarrassing. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's get it over with. I am an idiot. I did not have a formal arrangement with Wendy. Idiot. <laughs> Tomorrow, she's going to be inseminated, whether I like it or not. I just called the people down at the bank, and I asked them if I could please have my sperm back, and they said no. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You asked them? Yeah. John, in case you haven't noticed, this is America. We got a frontier tradition to uphold. Did Horace Greeley say, go west, young man, please? <laughs> Did Marshall Dillon say, come out with your hands up, please? <laughs> Did the Lone Ranger say, hi-ho, Silver, please? <laughs> John, sometimes you gotta hop on your horse and take matters into your own hands. And I'll tell you something else, partner. You're not gonna be riding into Sperm City alone. <laughs> What are you talking about? Are you with us, Ralphie? You bet. <laughs> I'm with my buddy John 100% all the way, do or die. Where are we going, Kirk? As Butch said to Sundance, it's a great day to rob a bank. <laughs> what? Come on, Kimasabi. Let's go round up your silver bullets. <laughs> Remember, 
If we get caught, we stick to our story. Right. What story? Oh, oh, we forgot to tell you. You forced us to rob this place against our will. Thanks a lot, Kirk. What are you thanking him for? It was my idea. Oh, I don't believe this. Not only am I robbing a sperm bank, but I'm doing it with Mo and Curly. <laughs> All right, Ralphie. Uh, why don't you go be the lookout and let us know if somebody's coming? Okay. Oh. If I see somebody coming, what should I say? You might try, somebody's coming. <laughs> He's done this before. <laughs> this is it. But the door's locked. Oh. All right. Uh, give me a handkerchief, Chad. Handkerchief? Yeah, come here. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Don't leave fingerprints, right? No. God only knows the kind of hands that touch this thing. <laughs> okay. Now, here. I think I can open this with a credit card. John, give me a credit card. I hope you know what you're doing. Ooh, couldn't qualify for the gold. <laughs> All right. Stand back and watch a master at work. <laughs> Sorry, John. Guess it doesn't take American Express. You idiot! The pot with my name on it is still on the door. Now what I'm gonna do, Mr. Master at work? Well, we gotta break the door down. Kurt, we cannot break the door down. Suit yourself. It's either that, or tomorrow morning, little John Lacey Jr. goes on his first egg hunt. <laughs> Better break the door down. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two. What are you guys doing? <laughs> hey, we're going to break down the door. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> You want to see the magazines they got in this place? Wow. How the hell did you get in here? Oh, I thought I heard somebody coming, so I ducked in the back way. It was unlocked? No, I used a credit card. Here's his gold. So, uh, where did he keep the stuff? In the tanks. Now, look, that's liquid nitrogen, so don't touch it. Now, you two keep watch. I gotta find my file number. Here it is. What's this? Uh, Ralphie, if I'm not mistaken, that's where the guy goes to, uh... <laughs> it's called the deposit closet. <laughs> John, come on. We, I got very important places to go, people to see here. Let's not take all night. Oh, look at this, a VCR. <laughs> Complete with motivational tapes. <laughs> Helga does Holland. <laughs> John, take your time. <laughs> Kellerman, Kelly, Kurtz. Lacey, there we go. Seven, two, one, three. Seven, two, one, three. Seven, two, one, three. Seven, two, one, three. Ah, there it is. John, what's going on? Come on, John, we gotta get out of here. Yes! I'm not going until I get what I came for. Seven, two, one, three, seven, two. Yeah, there's my baby. Come to Papa. All right, freeze! Now, oh, listen, I can explain it. Thank God you are here. <laughs> this man forced us to come down here against our will. Oh, come on. Are these handcuffs really necessary? Hey, just relax, okay, until your ex-wife gets here. And the bank is going to leave it up to her whether or not to press charges. After all, it was her property you broke. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Sarge. Well, we spoke to the Pentagon. 
Somebody said they never heard of you. <laughs> never heard of me. Right. Yes. That is the national security code for let him go immediately. <laughs> Keep in touch, fellas. Cute. Right. Wendy. Well, it's about time. Well, I would have been here sooner, but I wasn't sure how to dress for a breaking and entering party. You made a good selection. <laughs> uh, Wendy, uh, would you tell these nice officers that you're not going to press charges, please? Okay, John, I won't press charges. Thank you. On one condition. Condition? What condition? That you replace the donation that you ruined. No, forget it. Forget it. Absolutely not. I'm not going to go back to that room again. I'd rather go to jail. Book him. Oh, uh, no. John, John. I know you're a busy man, but what is a couple of minutes out of your day? <laughs> Time well spent, John. You can learn all about Holland. <laughs> oh, John, you are so stubborn. Officer, could I talk to him for a minute, please? Sure. Okay, John, maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't the best way for us to have another baby. Let's go back to your place. Now, Wendy, and Wendy, we should not be trying to have a baby that way either. Why not? We had Matthew that way. Well, that was different. We were young, we were happy, we were in love. But I don't love you anymore. Wow. That's the first time I've been able to say that. I don't love you anymore. Congratulations, John, but I'm not asking you to love me. Look, Matthew's almost in high school. Then he's going to go off to college, graduate, and never come home again. I love being a mother, but pretty soon I'm not going to have anybody to be a mother, too. I'm sorry, Wendy, but it's too late. No matter what you say, I can't do this. Damn it, Lacey, I should have got you in bed when I had the chance. Yes, now, could you um, uh, get these things off me, please? Oh, please. sure, John, in a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? I've always wondered, what's it like Wendy? in here anyway? Wendy, oh, come on, stop that, Wendy. Wendy, will you stop? Uh, Wendy! <laughs> Coming up next, a former partner becomes the key witness when Hunter and Molenski hit the streets to investigate a murder on an all-new Hunter. And you could win at least a million dollars when you watch A Different World Thursday night and play McMillions only on NBC.